the key thing with events in LA is events all literally all the time all the time you could sometimes it could be an event every day for a whole week and with that yeah that's good for you because you get to network and if it's a red carpet you could get to cover the red carpet and stuff like that um and if it's a um you get to cover the red carpet you get to network meet people and stuff like that and that's how I've let, met a lot of people in LA is from events you want to be dressed up you don't want to like wear the same things all the time so it's it can be expensive if you don't do it right so you know you can thrift shop um if you want it's nothing wrong with that i just haven't i really do want to go thrift shopping down here because i heard they got good things but i haven't been to it yet but um basically if you're a media correspondent use it to your advantage you know when i first moved out here even before I moved down here, I was reaching to different, um, I was reaching to different, um, boutiques and online boutiques or whatever, having them send me clothes and stuff, which comes in handy. Um, uh, my hair, I always have hair. I've been a hair ambassador for people. So, like, this is Ladies Room Beauty, and I'm going to take them below. And, um, but, yeah, so, just by doing media correspondent, because, Everybody want advertisement or whatever. And so, with advertisement, since you're going to all these events and stuff like that, when you first start off, you probably can't charge people because, you know, you just starting. But, um, you need event, you need outfits, you need clothes. And if you buy, literally, if you buy clothes for every event you go to in LA, I'm telling you, you would spend so so much money, so much money. So you have to use it to your advantage. You you have to reach out to these different boutiques online or even boutiques locally and basically, you know, sell them, sell yourself to them of what they can get by giving you free things. Um, from hair to I've got lipstick, lashes, um, lipstick, lashes, eyeliner, hair, clothes, heels, jewelry, sunglasses, um, Everything. Your whole attire could be from somebody that sent it to you for free. Honestly. From your lipstick to your nail polish. I'm not even kidding. So, basically, you sell them you. Tell them how you're going to all these events. You're interviewing celebrities. You're on the red carpets. You're net networking at these celebrity events. And where people are going to see you. People ask me where I get myself out of time. And I can tell them. You know? And so... That's another good thing. That's how you can sell yourself of getting free things from these boutiques and owners and stuff. Basically tell them, what do you do? I interview celebrities. I walk the red carpets. I interview celebrities on the red carpets. I go to celebrity events all the time. You know, sell them or which, how, you can, how they can benefit from you wearing their stuff. Sell them on that. Um, if you have a big following on Instagram, of course, you would say, and I post, you know, of course, we all take pictures at the events and stuff, so I post on my social media and tag you all and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's how you would sell any type of boutique or something like that, because you don't want to spend, you, staying in LA or just doing media, period, you're going to always go to events all the time. And if you can save money any way possible and get stuff for free you need to know that these are your main tips to saving money doing events you go out of town or something like that um you can always collab with different um like cadillac or ford or something like that and some of them if you like sell yourself right you can get a free rental car for a whole weekend from them honestly i know people have done it. i haven't tried it but i know a lot of correspondents that do do it and i'm definitely going to try it next time i go out of town but you want to learn how um I've I've look I've got better with my makeup, but you don't want to pay somebody to do your makeup all the time, cause you going to BT awards, you going to Soul Train awards, you going to the Oscars, the Grammys. You want your face to be beat, okay? Do you hear me? You want your face to be beat and your hair to be laid. So I learned how to make my own wigs and you know curl and flat iron them, so I don't have to pay anybody to do my hair. And makeup, I've got better, but I'm going to start looking at more YouTube videos <laughs> to learn how to do my makeup. Because I don't want to have to pay somebody and I can do it my own, you know. So, those are another tips to save money. If you still want to look the part on the red carpet, but don't want to pay the part, 
I would say those would be your key things to do. If I'm a one woman show. I got a tripod. I'm putting it on push it record and I got my microphone. When they come out there, it's already recording. I got to push it or sometimes I just click. I already know where the button is because I did so much. I know where the button is and I'm ready. I already got my angle right. So I'm already ready to interview by myself. One time, my camera person, she not used to, she came from out of town to help. She came out of town, but she was helping me because it was an event. And literally, it was so hot, but we used to it. She almost passed out. And literally, I'm doing interviews, holding my camera like this, and I'm interviewing. And that's how, that's how you gotta be. The hustle is that real. The grind is that real, people.